Well, for you, I mean, how do you feel like fall camp and, and now install has been going for you? I think it's pretty good. You know, we don't get to defense all year. I mean, all fall camp, like, it's not easy at all. Like, we're one of the best defense in the country. So, just switching it up now, going against UConn. It's different, but it's definitely a sigh of relief. Like, you know, play different defense and going out the next week. Coach Gibson said earlier this is the most depth he feels like he's ever had at the defensive line. What have you seen from those guys facing off of them on an everyday basis? They're special for sure. I want to shout out to Devin Van. I feel like he's one of the best linemen in the country. And I feel like he brings it every single day. The bag of moves he has, everything he does is motor. He's a special guy for sure. Yeah, this is not typically a defense that, you know, defensive linemen are able to get a ton of sacks. Do you feel like he has a chance to, oh, for, to do that sure, season? Sure. Especially at 4 I feel like he's so dynamic. Play four eye, play five, play nose, you play whatever. So I feel like definitely he ten sacks. You've waited your time to get this position. I mean, just just how how hard was it being patient, and then now here you are starting. Yeah, I mean it's been a journey for sure, but definitely got to stay patient, just rely on my faith, and just believe in that it's all gonna break out for the better good. Did, did you when you got reps with the first string, first string as a backup? How did that help your development? Oh, uh, definitely sped it up a lot. I feel like getting that those reps going from like the second team to the first team, the different speed of the game. So definitely trying to adjust to that just really helps. Just making sure you're staying on par with the ones is really important. Your your parents had you and Matthew always be younger than your grade. What is it like now, where you're like the older guy? You're you're no longer younger for your grade. I know it's crazy coming here at 16. I'm now 21. Like it's been a journey for sure. But I feel like I've grown a lot, mature, and I'm really. I feel like I'm in a leader position now where I can help the younger guys uh, really build, like, build themselves up. You look back when you were enrolled for that first semester, when you, crazy. how like, crazy it was? When like, the seniors spoke during uh, fall camp, just thinking, like, wow, like, four years ago, it's like just doing this thing, like, it's crazy. With a new offense, I think it's it's easy to overlook the offensive linemen and the different kind of last pass protection schemes or, or run schemes, something like that. What, what's been the biggest kind of challenge for you stepping into the system? I was just adjusting to Coach and I's tempo. I feel like it's much more up tempo than we had last year. I think that would be a strength for us this year. So I'm really just trying to adjust to that. I feel like we catch a lot of guys off, off balance with our tempo for sure. Obviously, Coach Garrison was here for a, a long time and somebody that you learned a lot from. But what has been the biggest difference between him and Coach 2J now at this point? Yeah, I love Garrison and I love 2J, but the energy that 2J brings every single day is it's, uh, it's crazy. Like, he just comes in the room, just lights it up. I feel like he brings so much energy, so much juice. And, like, he loves the game too, so he rubs off with everyone for sure. The other unique thing about you is your academic plans. Can you recap what you have achieved and what you hope to do in the next year or two? Yeah, I won't go into too much detail, but I graduated <laughs> uh, business degree and about to get my master's in December.